Welcome to Align Christ-Centered Yoga. My name is Linda and I'll be guiding our practice today. And our practice today is a memory verse flow. We are memorizing scripture as we connect it to breath and movement, aligning body, mind, and soul. Today's scripture verse comes from the author of Hebrews and the author says this, therefore, let us be grateful for receiving a kingdom that cannot be shaken. And thus let us offer to God acceptable worship with reverence and awe. Putting this into context, the author is writing to Christ church in a time of persecution and war. The people certainly felt like their world was shaking. And he says, be grateful for receiving a kingdom that cannot be shaken. The scripture verse before, yet once more, indicates the removal of things that are shaken. That is, things that have been made in order that the things that cannot be shaken may remain. Our God is a refining God, a transforming God, constantly removing things in this world that are not of him, bringing good to all that believe in him raising his kingdom up, bringing his kingdom to earth. Therefore, let us be grateful for receiving a kingdom that cannot be shaken, and thus let us offer to God acceptable worship with reverence and awe. And the author finishes, for our God is a consuming fire, refining the world by fire. Therefore, let us be grateful for receiving a kingdom that cannot be shaken, and thus let us offer to God acceptable worship with reverence and awe. Find a comfortable seated position, rocking a little bit side to side, front to back. Find those sitting bones and anchor into that foundation. Begin to find breath, maybe closing your eyes, and notice where your breath begins today. The pace of breath, the quality of breath. Begin to breathe a little more deeply, a little more three-dimensionally. Can you feel that rib cage open with breath? Find your exhale. Finding that strength and stability with the exhale. One more breath here. Begin to connect movement in br with breath. The arms rising with the inhale. Exhaling, draw the arms down. Begin to lead with breath and checking in. You know, how does the body feel? Where are you tight? Where is there tension? And to add movement of the head as well, the gaze rising with the arms. And as the hands descend, bowing the head. Another breath like this. And add the scripture verse. Therefore, let us be grateful for a kingdom that can cannot be shaken, and thus offer to God acceptable worship with reverence and awe. One more breath here. Go ahead and bring those hands out to the side and drawing the belly in, find cat. Palms pressing out, cow. And two more times here, cat to cow, noticing sensations in the back, in the hips. What's going on today? What will your practice be like? Take a deep breath in, arms rising, exhale, hands to heart. So this is a longer memory verse. I'm memorizing it with you here. So we're going to add some arm motions today to our practice to help us with that. Arms come out to the side, so Velcro those upper arms in. We're gonna do some rotator cuff strengthening. Externally rotating the arms, let the palms face towards each other and then come out. This is the first movement. 
Exhaling, cross the arms, one on top of the other, draw the belly in, find that strength. Inhaling, arms come out. Exhaling, cross the other arm on top. Inhaling, come out, but rotate those palms up as if you're holding two serving trays. Inhale, hands to heart. Exhale, release. So doing this again, coming out with the inhale. Exhaling, arms cross over the belly, find strength and stability. Inhale, arms out, exhale, draw in, other arm on top. Inhale, palms up. Exhale, hands to heart. Thumbs to the sternum. As you inhale, find that cow pose, gaze rises. Exhale to center. Adding it to the scripture verse. Find your breath, connect it with the movement. Therefore, let us be grateful that we are, that for, let us be grateful for receiving a kingdom that cannot be shaken. Arms come out again. And thus, offering to God, arms cross, acceptable worship, arms come out with reverence and awe, hands in prayer. Rise up, gaze to the heavens. Exhale, back to center. One more time with those motions, arms out and across. Out, the other arm comes on top. Out with the tray, hands to heart. Kind of just leave the muscles of the back where they are. Rise into that back bend. Exhale to center. I invite you to come off the block or blanket if you're using props and bring those props to the front of the mat. Go ahead and take your right leg out to the side. We'll be doing some hamstring stretching today, so we'll start here. Go ahead and bend that leg, move it a little bit in and out. And then extending the leg, find some traction as that left foot comes into that right thigh. Exhaling, come forward. Inhaling, come back. Another check-in. How is the back, the hip, the leg responding to this? And are you leading with your breath? One more time here. Exhale forward. Inhale back. And as you're ready, come forward and settle into your hamstring stretch. So maybe the heel comes a little forward, maybe the hip crease comes a little back. It's okay if that knee is bent. Find that stretch. Effort with ease. No shaking or struggle. I invite you to take that right leg, your right hand, to the center of the thigh. Press the leg down for two breaths. Inhaling, rise up. Exhaling, come forward. Find the hamstring stretch here and say the scripture verse. Therefore, let us be grateful for receiving a kingdom that cannot be shaken. And thus, let us offer to God acceptable worship with reverence and awe. Gently press into your hands and rise up. Bring the other leg out. So again, the body turns towards that leg, pressing that right foot into the left thigh. Go ahead and bend and straighten this left leg a couple of times. Just that little nudge to the hamstring, letting it know that stretch is coming. Body towards the leg. Exhale forward. Inhale back. Two more times here leading with breath. As you're ready, come forward. Find the hamstring stretch that's best for you. Effort with ease. Maybe release the tension in the neck as you shake the head out no and yes. As you're ready, left hand to the thigh, press down for two breaths. If 
As you're ready, take a deep breath in, rise. Exhaling, come over that leg again. Just noticing any shift in the stretch. And say the scripture verse. Therefore, let us be grateful for a kingdom that cannot be shaken. And thus, let us offer to God wor acceptable worship with reverence and awe. Gently press into your hands and rise up. I invite you to come to your hands and your knees, meeting me in table. Knees are hip width apart. Wrists are underneath the shoulders. Little eyes of the elbows rotated in with a little bubble of air in the palm of the hand. Maybe fingers drawing a little bit towards the wrist. That just engages the forearm a little more. Exhale into cat. Inhale into cow. Begin to release the tight muscles of the back. Notice range of motion in the neck. As you rise up, the head is an extension of the spine. So don't bring that head up too high. Add the scripture verse. Therefore, let us be grateful for receiving a kingdom that cannot be shaken. And let us offer to God acceptable worship with reverence and awe. Curl the toes under, tilt the hips towards the mat. Gently draw the knees into the rib cage. Begin to push the hips up towards where the ceiling meets the wall behind you. Find that first downward facing dog. Shake your head out no and yes. Begin to pedal through your feet. Adjust your arms and hands. Begin to find the downward facing dog that's best for you. Maybe the heels rise and lower a couple of times. Work with your breath. As you settle into downward facing dog, just notice where it is that you begin today. Taking a deep breath in, let that right leg rise high. And gazing forward, bring the foot in between the hands, gently dropping that back knee down and up. If it's better for you, you can use blocks on either side of your foot. That is always an option for you. And then as you're ready, gently just bring that knee down, top of the foot to the mat, sweep the arms all the way up, hands to prayer. So we're going to open up the arms as we lean forward. Exhaling, cross those arms and come back. Again. Arms come out, holding your two trays. Come back, hands to the sternum, and then inhale up and find your back bend. And return, adding it to the scripture verse. Therefore, let us be grateful for a kingdom that cannot be shaken. Coming forward again. And thus, let us offer to God, coming back, acceptable worship. Arms out to the side, stay here with reverence and awe. Coming into that back bend. And back to center. Again, hands to either side of the foot, maybe straightening out that front leg. Find a hamstring stretch as you come back and forth here. And as you do this, can you track the hips straight back without winging this left hip to the side? As you're ready, find your hamstring stretch here. Explore it, maybe the foot is flexed. Notice what happens if you let the hip wing out versus squaring it off. Maybe it feels better for you today to have that foot down on the mat. Begin to release through the neck as the top of the head comes towards the mat. Find your breath here. And release. Ahead and bring the blocks to the side, raise that back leg up, front leg comes to the back, meet me in plank. Go ahead and come down to the mat, child to table. 
Curling the toes under, tilt those hips towards the mat. Knees to rib cage, straighten the legs, meet me in downward dog. Shake the head out, no and yes. Maybe you notice some shifts and changes already. Deep breath in, left leg rises high. Gaze forward, foot comes all the way through, back knee taps down and up. A few times here, still leading with breath. And then as you're ready, just let that back knee come down, rise all the way up, exhale, hands to heart. Again, hands come out, hinge at the hip, lean forward a little bit. Exhale, cross the arms, come back. Again, forward, cross. Where's that serving tray? Come forward, hands to heart, stay here. Rise up into that back bend, engage the muscles of the upper back. Exhale, back to center, connecting it to the scripture verse. Therefore, let us be grateful for receiving a kingdom that cannot be shaken. And thus, let us offer to God acceptable worship with reverence and awe. Find your back bend. Let the hands come down to either side. Again, maybe you're using blocks. Begin to straighten and bend that front leg, finding that hamstring stretch. Again, just notice how stable do the hips feel? Are they wobbly or can you track them straight back? And what are you doing with that front foot? Maybe it flexes as you come back. Maybe it stays on the mat. Settle into the hamstring stretch. And where is the foot? Engaging the abdominals, fold the body over, let the head release. And just notice, you know, I notice that I'm winging way out to the side here. And I get a much better stretch if I'm square to the back of the mat. I invite you to stay here for one more breath. And bend the knee and go ahead and bring the blocks to the front. Raise the back leg, bring the back leg to the front. Meet me in this first forward fold. Go ahead and hold on to the elbows, rock a little bit side to side. Hands to shins, rise up halfway. Exhale down, come all the way up to mountain. Hands to heart. Stay here in mountain, find the arm movements. Hands come out. Therefore, let us be grateful, arms come across, for a kingdom that cannot be shaken. Arms out. And thus, arms come across. Let us offer to God acceptable worship. Find that serving tray with reverence, hands to prayer, and awe. From here, pressing down with the feet, engage the muscles of the back, lift up, find your back bend. Deep breath in, arms rise, exhaling, find your forward fold. Hands to shins, rise up halfway, exhale down, one leg back and then the other, meet me in plank. From plank, draw down to the knees, child to table. Awe, reverence. Come back up to table, curling the toes under, meet me in downward facing dog. Worshiping this mighty God of ours, Father, Son, and Spirit. On the next inhale, right leg rises high. Gaze forward, bring the foot all the way through. Rise up into your lunge. Hands to heart. Stay here, bring those hands out. Add the scripture verse. Therefore, let us be grateful for receiving a kingdom that cannot be shaken. And thus... Offer to God acceptable worship with reverence and awe. 
Thumb to collarbone, rise up. Exhale, bring the hands all the way up. Hands down to the mat. Straighten out that front leg here, finding a pyramid, just letting the head come down. Shake your head out, no and yes. Reverence and awe. Go ahead and bend the front leg, bring the back leg forward. Shake your head out, no, and yes, forward fold. Hands to shins, rise up halfway, exhale down. Rise all the way up to mountain, extended mountain as the arms press up and exhale, hands to heart. Find the scripture verses, the hands come out to the side, those upper arms velcroed to your side. Therefore, let us be grateful for receiving a kingdom that cannot be shaken. And thus, offer to God acceptable worship with reverence and awe. Rise into your back bend. And return to center. Deep breath in, arms rise, exhale, forward fold. And hands to shins, come up halfway and Exhale down and one leg back and then the other and meet me in plank. Come down to the knees, child's pose. And rise to table and curl the toes under and meet me in downward facing dog. Check in here for two breaths. Notice what you notice. On the next inhale, left leg rises high, gaze comes forward, foot comes all the way through, meet me in lunge, hands to heart. Hinge a little forward as those arms come out. Therefore, arms come across. Let us be grateful for a kingdom that cannot be shaken, arms out. And thus, let us offer to God acceptable worship. Where's your serving tray with reverence and awe? Find your back bend. Deep breath in, arms rise, exhaling. Hands come to either side of the foot. Use blocks if you need to. Beginning to straighten out that leg. The head come down, square off the hips. Imagine the inner thighs drawing together and up. As you're ready, gently bend the front leg, bring the back leg forward, find your forward fold. And hands to shins, rise up halfway, and exhale down and pushing through the feet, come all the way up. Hands to prayer. Inhaling, bring those arms out. Therefore, let us be grateful for a kingdom that cannot be shaken. And thus, let us offer to God acceptable worship with reverence and awe. Find that back bend. Meet me back at center. I invite you to stay here for two breaths, closing your eyes. Just worshiping God with reverence and awe. Deep breath in, arms rise, exhaling, forward fold. Hands to shins, come up halfway and exhale down, one leg back and then the other. Meet me in plank, draw the knees down, child to table. Curling the toes under, tilt the hips, and meet me back in downward facing dog. And I invite you to stay here for a couple of breaths. I'm going to work through this sequence one more time. We're going to add just a little bit. 
So inhaling, right leg rises high. This time, draw the gaze forward, bring the foot to the outside, finding lizard. Keep that back leg extended. Maybe the front foot comes a little bit out to the side. Press into the left arm, raise that right arm, that is an option. Maybe that back foot comes to the outside of the foot and you begin to find a stretch as you drop that hip just a little bit, stacking shoulders. Maybe the arm reaches overhead. Go ahead and pivot that back foot, toe heel that front foot to center. Hand comes down to either side or to the outside of the foot. Straighten that front leg as you bow down. Inhaling, rise up into your lunge. Hands to heart. Say the scripture verse here, working through that rotator cuff sequence. Therefore, let us be grateful for a kingdom that cannot be shaken. And let us offer to God acceptable worship with reverence and awe. Deep breath in, arms rise. Exhaling, hands to either side of the foot. Bring the back foot forward. Meet me in forward fold. Shake the head out, no. And yes, hands to shins, rise up halfway. Exhaling, come down. Come all the way up, meet me in extended mountain, hands to heart, thumbs pressing into that collarbone. Saying the scripture verse as the arms come out to the side. Therefore, let us be grateful for a kingdom that cannot be shaken. And let us offer to God acceptable worship with reverence and awe. Rising up, find your back bend. And deep breath in, arms rise and exhale, forward fold. And hands to shins, come up halfway, find length in the spine, exhale down. One leg back and then the other, you can hop if you want. Knees come down to the mat, child to table. And curling the toes under, knees come up into the rib cage. Meet me in downward dog. You can shake the head out, no and yes, and find your breath. And check in. Working through that same sequence on the other side, deep breath in, left leg rises high. Gaze forward, bring the foot to the outside of the hand. Maybe that foot rolls a little bit to the outside. Decide what's best for you. Pressing into the right hand, bring that left arm up. Maybe the foot pivots to the side. Drop the hip a little bit as you find the stretch. The arm reaches overhead. And then as you're ready, go ahead and pivot that back foot into your lunge again. Toe, heel, the front foot to center. Arms come, hands come to either side of the foot. Straighten out that front leg. Deep breath in, rise up into your lunge. Shoulders over hips, hands to the sternum. Find that rotator cuff sequence, say the scripture verse. Therefore, let us be grateful for receiving a kingdom that cannot be shaken. And thus, let us offer to God acceptable worship with reverence and awe. Find your back bend. Deep breath in, arms rise, exhaling, hands come down to either side of that leg. 
This time, just bring the front foot to the back. Meet me in plank. Draw knees to mat, child to table twice. Invite you to come back to child's pose and stay here. And begin to feel the foundation of the earth underneath you. The kingdom of God cannot be shaken. Feel yourself deeply anchored to faith and hope and love. Feel yourself connected to a foundation of victory, victory over evil, over sin over death itself. Stay here for two more breaths. Get ready, press into your hands and rise up. Bring those feet in front of you. Take the feet a little bit wide. Just drop the knees side to side as you release any remaining tension in the back. And then as you're ready, bring those feet forward and come down onto the mat. Again, just taking a breath here with the knees bent, just notice the way the body has connected to the mat. Hands to knees, gently draw the knees into the rib cage and away, reconnecting with breath. That exhale as the knees draw in. Inhaling as they draw away. Just restoring a neutral position of the spine, a natural arch of the lower back. As you're ready, one foot down and then another. Gently extend the legs. And if this doesn't work very well for your back, then you can bend the knees. Just make it work for you. Maybe you winch a wiper the feet or bounce the knees or wiggle the hips a little bit as you settle. Let the arms rise up towards the sky and exhale as you thump those shoulders down. Do that one more time. Bring the arms down to the side, palms up. I invite you to turn your head from the top of one ear up and over to the top of the other. Meet me at center. Find breath. Again today, feeling fully grounded. Noticing the connection of the body to the earth, rooted in faith, a kingdom unshaken.
I invite you to stay here a little longer if you can. If you need to move on with your day, begin to bring movement back. Gently moving fingers and toes, rotating wrists and ankles, maybe turning your head side to side. And that next inhale, bring arms up and overhead, reaching fingers to one wall, toes to the other, stretch. And as you're ready, bending knees, roll over onto your side. Find breath here. Again, feeling grounded, the connection of the body to the earth. Alignment of body, mind, and soul with the heart and will and mind of God. Gently pressing into your hands, rise up to a sitting position. Crossing legs comfortably in front of you, find your sitting bones. Check in one final time, body, mind, and soul. Remembering where you were when you came to the mat today. Noticing where you are now and accepting it as it is. Taking a deep breath in, arms rise, palms together. And exhale, hands to heart. Bowing your head, joining me in prayer. Holy God. All glory goes to you, for you alone are worthy. We worship you today. We offer all that we have, our time, our energy, our stuff, our finances. Honor and glory to you, God. Let everything that we do reflect who you are, bringing love and light into this world, vanquishing evil. We thank you for this reminder that you are the same yesterday and today and tomorrow, and that your kingdom is unshaken. It is in the name of Jesus, the Christ, that we pray. Amen. Thank you for practicing with me today.